our daughter is back. But the mama is gone because she's stuck in the birdcage. And we got to, like, fly up there and free her from this creepy dude. And Asuna's dead. I think he still has terrible, terrible judgment of character. Not just Kirito, but that creepy guy as well. Now, actually, that should have been the other way around. Okay, now, there's Alfheim Online. This shit's, like, basically a copy of SAO, but, like, a little bit changed. It's like a reskin of SAO. But, like, there's, like, no levels, but you kind of do have skill, you know, proficiency. And because, you know, Kirito was so cracked before, it basically all just translated over, right? I'm sure that, uh... We might get some new friends. I mean, we found like the green elf like blonde girl, right? Surely we're gonna get a new harm. Then we're gonna fly up and save Asuna. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Guys, he's just a cheater now. He's no longer a beater. <laughs> just started the game, by the way. Just started the game. Death penalty. Is a penalty for death? What, like a cooldown? Alright, they acknowledge the black cheater. The imprisoned queen gotta be Asna. Who's the king then? The creepy dude? Remain light. Uh, they're no longer remaining. Yeah, you wanna fight? Yeah, we saved you, man. What the fuck is wrong with the translators back in the day? She said Baka Janai, are, are you are you stupid? <laughs> they just like straight up just throw in the the R word immediately, bro. <laughs> yeah, just a joke, just a joke. 2012 is back. 2012 wild and back then, man. Yes, Papa. Or, uh, she's our virtual daughter. What's a what's a private pixie? Used for what kind of purposes? Thought they were gonna go somewhere else with that. Like... You got fucking thwarted here. You save this girl's ass and she makes fun of us. Hmm. Okay, here's the thank you. <laughs> Are you single? Are you a single dad? She's gonna be the stepmom until we get Asuna back? Okay, focus anime! SAO! Focus SAO! No, bitch, teach us! So if you're in enemy territory in that specific race, that's like, the, that specific race can kill you. The Sylph can do PK, but you can't do PK onto the Sylph. Is this like PvP area then? It's gotta be, right? Okay, she's gonna protect us through politics and tell other sylphs to not, you know, attack us. What? We, we do need the Wii, Wii remote. Why didn't she need it? What the fuck? Is the Wii remote like a training wheels? So we straight up only have training wheels on with the dumbass remote. So you're just imagining moving your fucking back muscles. Gotta fucking. Oh, 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 oh. Mewing is more believable than this exercise of imagining your virtual wing muscles attached to your back in this fucking game. I, I think mewing is a lot more feasible than this. Oh, it's working. Is it good? Hey, he's doing it without the weak control. Yes, let's laugh at our fucking dad that might die from crashing while flying like this. Fun for his life! No more Wii remote. No training wheels. Nice.
I guess the flight thing is the only thing that was good from our game online, huh? Like the developer is RCT, just reskinned it. But the flight engine is kind of like, you know, new, right? So it's like, hey, they at least tried. You got no stamina. A literal pocket pixie. Hmm. Leaf is actually the fastest? Surely, uh, they're not gonna kill us for, uh, being black? Crash land it. Just fucking crash land it. You're just gonna crash into the wall? What do you mean, wish you luck? Straight up! Doesn't this look fucking bad? Like, th we're, this is already a racist game. You have different races to different colors. And, 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 and some black dude, not black, but he's black fairy, crashes into the green dudes. Bro, bro this is 9-11. Silfa, Silfi, Leafa literally said, Leafa literally said, hey, you can get PK'd in here. I'll try my best. I'll try my best. And she's like, oh, good luck. You don't know how to, you don't know how to fucking break? A fucking run into that fucking building. Cause a fucking domestic terrorist attack. Silfi. Guys, it's Silfi. It's Silfi. What did you say? High level healing. I don't know what an Undine is. Some kind of specific race, right? Yeah, what's the Spurigans good at? Illusion magic. Genjutsu? Yeah, that's a nice way to basically call it lies and stealing, which is, uh, you know, Sprigan specifically are good at that. What? Bro went for the fucking knife immediately. Racist. Racist. Airhead? We're not. Kirito's not an airhead. He's actually pretty smart. Are we cocking this kid? Is, is he like romantically interested in Leafa? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Leafa, mine now. Erifu. Rimuru would love this place, man. <laughs> just someone I'm partying with. He kind of just looks like a little bro that has like a, I don't know, he kind of has a crush on Leaf. IRL? Alright. IRL friends? The, the red fairies, right? Salamanders. Only recently? Can we all just fucking fly to the top of the tree? Come on, let's go. What are we doing just like infighting? My wife is at the top. No, it's not the same. My wife is up there. Okay, we know about that mechanic, yeah? Oberon the Fairy King. And the, the fucking creepy dude, Asuna's, you know, the, the guy that's trying to marry Asuna. That's probably the fairy. He's probably Oberon in this fucking game, right? He's probably making himself god of this world. Keeps little Asuna in the fucking birdcage. Make sure, you know, he's fucking power tripping. Whoa, 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 whoa. First race to reach the floating city. And this is like a prophecy if it happens, right? Can be reborn in a more advanced race called Alf. And there is no Alf just yet, right? So basically... This is like a gift. You get to the top, you meet Oberon, and he basically turns you into an elf. Straight up New Game Plus. Without a 10 minute fucking, you know, uh, stamina duration. You just remove stamina. That sounds pretty cool. Hmm? So instead of just flying up, there's a dome that lets you get up? Maybe it's designed to be impossible, because that's what um the creepy guy wants. 
でも校舎だとすると絶対に無理ね無理最初に到達した種族しかクリアできないクエストを他の種族と協力して攻略しよう Right, because it's the first race that gets there. Not everybody gets it. It's the first race that gets there. So if you have a team of salamanders and sylphs, and sylphs got there first, salamanders would get fucked. You would think like people would then like metagame and just all realize that, yo, you guys you know we're, we've been fucking around in this game for too long and nothing's happening. We should all just play one race. Everybody just like just get, just figure out what the most optimal race is. Just fucking just play the just change characters. Fuck your past progression. Fuck it. Just just go to that one race, and then everybody exactly reroll to one class, and then everybody try to get to Oberon. Then everybody kind of wins, but you know it's it's easier said than done. Yeah, and then I don't know. You all become elves. We got fucking one week. Asuna's gonna get married in one week. Comatose. He really just got upset at Leafa. He, he, he like snapped at her. She was like, what the fuck? My wife. Video game wife. She's up there. Or he's gonna end up sniffing her hair for the rest of her life. What was that? So Kirito has his own reasons. He doesn't really tell her. And she feels like she's personally attacked there. <gasps> what did she realize? <gasps> Leafa's realized something. At this moment, her suspicions? She had like prior suspicions? She knows about Kirito before? Is this a character that we've seen in SAO? Is this a voice actor that we've heard before? Which voice actor is this? I don't fucking know. It seems like there's some connections here. Like, there's no shot that she would make this kind of reaction. Like she's making some logical guesses right now, right? She has some assumptions. And Kirito basically says some you know, vague things about, I gotta save somebody, I can't just tell you the details. She's like, oh, my suspicions are correct. Like, what the fuck? What? Do I know you? Do I know you? What's your name? What's your real name? Who are you, IRL? You wanna help them? There's no reason that you should care for a random guy you just met. Why are you going this far to save him? Huh? Why? Maybe not for her, man. I don't know. Fucking use her sword skills. Uh, tsundere. Very tsundere. Uh, there was Silica. There was Lizbeth. Sachi's dead. What other girls were there? Uh, Is it like, like like this character doesn't have to be specific from SAO because they're talking about like like they somehow know about Asuna. So it's other people from the game. Yoga pants is also true. Or like, what about our little sister? Why can't it be our little sister? Like think outside the box. This isn't like a person that we have to meet in the game, right? Because it just has to be somebody that knows about Asuna's existence and Kirito is trying to chase after Asuna, right? We've already told we, haven't we told Sugu about it? Doesn't Sugu know that Asuna's in the hospital and that he just keeps going? Right? That's kind of a logical jump, though, that Sugu would then be aware of, like, no, no, no. Maybe Sugu always played this game. Is she a gamer? No, she fucking just dojo trains all the time. I don't know where I'm going with this. It's just someone that's either from SAO or IRL that knows about Asuna's existence and Kiryu's trying to save. Sugu does meet that criteria, but I don't really know. She really does sound like K right now. I know, I, I know this is K, Karui Zawa voice actor from Collapse of the Elite, but... When you need to log out, use a room upstairs. Oh, it's like a tavern. Who are you? What the fuck is she? Leafa? Opening her eyes. Is this Kaiba's room? Leafa? She has her own fucking poster? This girl is such a narcissist. She, she has her own... Her, she, she has a poster of her own character in her room that she wakes up to every day. <laughs> She's her biggest fan. I thought you're too busy with fucking dojo shit! It is Suku. Wait, so... Suku! Kirito! Asna, incest, cousins, cousins, romantically involved, cocked Yui, Yui, Sugu Yui. 
Leafa Sugu daughter? Yui? Sugu mad? I don't fucking know, man. What do you think about Yui? What do you think about Yui? Yeah. Oh, bless you again. Bless you again. <laughs> they really like, you know, showing off Sugu style. They really like doing that. P was a weird guy? <laughs> she doesn't know! Because it's Kazu- But then how would she- I thought she knew the name Kirito! And like, you have to know the name Kirito, and that's why she made the jump of, oh, the girl you're trying to save must be Asuna. But she doesn't fucking know! I accidentally guessed this then! My assumption was that it had to be a person outside, or in SAO, that knows Kirito and about Asuna being stuck. Suku does know that, but she doesn't know Kirito's name. It's Kazuto. What the fuck? How the f what the fuck was she doing making that face then? What was that face that she was making when she was like, oh, I gotta go save somebody? Huh? What the, what the fuck? She just randomly feels, feels bad? I feel like that was way too fucking like specific. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is she what is she actually falls in love with him in the game? And then it's like face reveal. Hey, I'm actually Kirito. And it's like, oh my god. Oh, what are we fucking setting up? What are we fucking setting up, man? Kaiba! Pixie Kaiba, what have you done? <laughs> yeah, you can sleep. Kaiba, you wanna sleep inside? Yeah, shit, come on, come on, come on. Sometimes a grown ass man wants a little bit of cuddly, man. Just wants the warmth embrace. Oh. Changed into a normal form, by the way. She, she didn't even remain in a pixie form. Because he's like, nah, I gotta, I gotta get my full, full meat out there for Kirito. <laughs> Mama ain't here yet. <laughs> this is reality. Oh, wow. <laughs> is he logging out? Oh, he's falling asleep. <laughs> so as he logs out, and he wakes up in his room. What happens to Yui and like Kazuto's body or Kirito's body? Is that body just like sleeping there? Is it just on the bed? Or does this, does, does, it, does it like disappear? And then like manifest again when he logs back in. Cause then like Yui could do some sussy ass shit man when he's logged out. Oh the birdcage, 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 Asuna. Asuna's got pointy ears now too. Belly button. Damn, even the birds don't want her. Kono Dio. Oh, wait, wait, what's it call it? Titania? 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 <laughs> it's a new game name. <laughs> and here's the creepy dude. Titania is actually from Lore, the fairy queen. Oh, actually, true. Uh, Ancient Magus Bride. There was a girl named Titania. Was she a fairy there? I don't know, but she was like a huge deal. Remember that name, Titania from Ancient Magus Bride. And this gotta be Oberon, right? System admin. Yes. Outside in real life. You fucking sniff her hair, that musty ass fucking hair that hasn't been showered over like God knows how many years it's been. 2.5? I don't fucking know by now. No, I'm not Sugo, I'm Oberon here! You gotta call me by my- <laughs> Okay, so he is Oberon. You gotta roleplay! You're breaking my immersion! I'm Oberon! You're Titania! Alright. She would never accept you! Damn. You're, you're, touch, you're, 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 you're touching it, you're forcing it without your consent again. What are you talking about? You're fucking contradicting yourself. Oh! Creepy! Stop touching her! Oh. I feel violated! Oh, where are you going with that? Oh, where are you going with that? Oh, where are you going with that? Bro, can you just save this for later off camera? Like, don't show me this shit. Don't fucking show me this shit. This is disgusting. Whack. Whack. The bird should be fucking shitting on him right now, bro. The bird should fucking comically just shit on the bird fucking white poop on his face right now. Why? Of course not. 
この世界ではゲームを楽しんでるしかしねフルダイブシステムの進化を脳の制御範囲を拡大することで思考感情記憶まマニピュレイトアーツエモーションズイブンメモリーズフォーダイブメキャニック Where are we going with this? Hidden power? Okay. As in, he'll like basically alter Asuna's like mental state? Clearly not Asuna's dad. Asuna's dad don't give a fuck about this. Oh, well, Kaiwa did. So this is pretty much just like another human experimentation. There's something sinister here. Nah, Kaiba better than you. That's, what he, that's all he wanted. This motherfucker, that's how Asuna still stuck here. This, that's how this motherfucker just basically backtracked that shit. So maybe he is a. Uh, like a. Uh, he, he's a junior developer that copied the code from the senior. But father would, because father is the most fucking useless character in this fucking show, apparently. Stop whispering in my ear! We're gonna sell our research to an American company? American company's gonna eat it up? That's like season 3, season 4? What? What? So, like, Asuna could forget that Kirito exists, huh? He should just do that optimally. Like, he could just straight up erase Kirito in Asuna's mind. Stop sniffing her hair! I don't think there's a girl. I, I mean, the, the the line between sexual harassment and Riz basically is based on like how good looking you are, right? Ryu and doing that in classroom of the elite to Susan over and over, it was kind of creepy, but it's a little passable because I guess he is pretty charismatic. I don't know. Does any girl actually enjoy that shit? Just like, dude, just fucking showing us the fucking taking the hair. Ooh, my lady, let me take your. Oh, you didn't use shampoo today, huh? Oh, 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 memorize, memorize. Deva, Sarabada. Sarabada. Poor Titania, man. He coming. He coming. All right, that's the episode. Pretty creepy ending, man. That shit was fucking, it just left a bad taste in my mouth. Anytime I see that Sugo guy, Oberon. This guy's so fucking annoying. Oh my God. Like, I can kind of tell why, like, um, I, I think in order for a show to be good, you need a compelling villain. I think a villain is might be more important than a main character. The protagonist, quite often, I don't really care about. I care more about the, the side characters around the protagonist and like a villain. If the villain is compelling, charismatic, to the point that you can acknowledge that they're evil, that they're a piece of shit, but at the same time, you can kind of empathize with them because of the fucked up situation they've been in, I think that makes for a compelling villain. This guy is not a compelling villain. This guy is fucking just annoying. He's so fucking just... He's just evil for the sake of being evil. And on top of that, it's not even being evil. It's just creepy, bro. It's just so fucking creepy. So it's like... I guess this, he's the reason why a lot of people don't like part 2. That and maybe Kirito Sugu incest foreshadowing. That's pretty much been said because Sugu is like, huh? Who is Kirito? She don't know. She might fall in love with Kirito in game. And when she realizes, Kirito is actually cousin to big bro. Cousins? Cousins? Oh no, man. This is just gonna be fucking interesting. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.